to me, I'm very pleased to have one of the people who's been involved with WESIS right from the start, representing Tunisia. And it is now 2014, but back in 2005 there was the uh, Tunis Declaration. And thank you for joining us, Mr. Taufik Jalassi, Minister of Higher Education, Scientific Research and ICT. So uh, your country very important to this whole process and you're also a prize winner as well. So congratulations. Thank you very much and thank you for inviting me. You are right in saying that Tunisia was very much involved from the very start back in 2005. I was honored to be part of the official Tunisian delegation at that event. And uh, you mentioned the prize that uh, we are getting this morning here in Geneva, uh, granted by the ITU. Uh, we are honored to receive this prize. It's a recognition of a major event that we put in place subsequent to the November 2005 event. And uh, the recognition goes to us hosting annually a major uh, forum called ICT for All, which have been held since 2005 on different topics, different themes every year, with almost 2,000 people taking part of it annually, coming from private sector, CEOs of large companies worldwide, but also public sector, ministers, 20, 30 of them from different countries, and civil society representatives. So we believe that this ICT for All International Forum has advanced uh, ICT topics in the broader societal and also economic context. Now, the United Nations has publicly thanked Tunisia for its role in the, the, the beginnings, the setting up of the uh, OECIS process. Oh, why did Tunisia get involved? Or why did Tunisia think it was so important to, to be there in 2005? Actually, if I, if I recall correctly, the idea came up back in 1998 when Tunisia first suggested to the United Nations holding a, a world summit on the information society. Uh, clearly, since the late 90s, we saw the emergence of computers, of uh, digital content affecting society at large. And it was that vision then uh, uh, that led Tunisia to suggest that the United Nations bring key decision makers together for such an event. Uh, that was the background to it. In Tunisia, we do believe in ICT as a major enabler for socio-economic development. The government I belong to uh, firmly believes in that. Our Prime Minister is a strong supporter of pushing IT across all sectors of society, of the economy, with the aim of turning Tunisia, hopefully, into a major ICT hub for the Maghreb, for the MENA region, for sub-Saharan Africa. We believe that we can make it, hopefully, in the coming years, uh, internationally speaking, but also making Tunisia an enabler to create the jobs to push innovation, uh, to, to, to move to the digital economy, whether it is tourism, health, education, commerce, and other sectors, of course, of the economy. There have been, of course, big political and societal changes in Tunisia since 2005, but is the focus still the same? I would say the focus has even increased. Uh, I mentioned the new government that came to power this past January. It's called a government of technocrats, half of its members coming from private sector, internationally, like myself. I spent the last 35 year, years between USA and Europe. Uh, our prime minister spent 23 years working in the private sector in Europe. So we bring in best practices from uh, the international scene, but also deep knowledge of, uh, of, of uh, good you know, processes and how to create value that hopefully will be lasting. So it is the mix of my colleagues from within Tunisia, my colleagues from outside of Tunisia. It's us together that we want really to make Tunisia not only a, a major Arab Spring country, but as our prime minister calls it, a democracy startup. It's a startup, it's new on its democratic path, but it's a democracy that we are determined to make it succeed and recognized as a major success story on a world stage. And ICT is one of the pillars in that transformation that we want for our society in Tunisia and for our national economy.